My name is Remigius Josef Graas, but people just call me Remco. A few years ago, I managed to move from Holland to Innsbruck, in the center of the Austrian Alps. And with that, I could fulfill a long-standing dream, simply having the mountains in the backyard and spend as much time as possible up there as I can. Sometimes, when the alarm wakes me up, I think, boah, why do I get up so early? But then once I leave the house and think about the upcoming sunrise, I know it's totally going to be worth it. Antioch Sitgraad. Vordere Brandjoch Spitze Gipfel, perfekte Sonntagmorgen. My plan for today is to traverse the southern ridge line of the Carvendel mountain range, the so-called Nordkette, plus a few more peaks. It's a project and a nice day out that I wanted to do already for some time. It is cool to do a project right in front of the door. A project that you see every day when you go to work, when you sit on the balcony, drink a coffee, and yeah, that's how the idea started to grow, to traverse the whole Nordkette. I grew up in Holland with my parents and two older brothers and spent most of my life below sea level. Wasn't really the mountain kid, really didn't want to spend time on the trails when I was a kid. Just wanted to be in the pool, on the camping, like normal children were. Can't really say why or what, I just know it was in 2000. But it just snapped and all of a sudden I enjoyed our holidays in the Alps. And I don't really know where it came from, but as of that moment I fell in love with mountains and I started to go on summer camps. And then in 2009 there was a friend who was looking for somebody who would be interested to join him on an alpine course with the Dutch Alpine Club. I was interested. After the beginner's course, I took an advanced course. And this is how I slowly started my career in mountaineering. After I, I made my courses and started to go more and more to the Alps for mountaineering, I knew that I just had to move. I just had to go there somehow. During the Nordgate Traverse, there is a Via Verata. The exposure is fantastic and feels great, and it's like dancing on the rooftops above the city. Langsam kommt Havlekaag näher. The Havlekaag is a cultural hotspot of Innsbruck. The cable car brings you up from the city center in 20 minutes. On the other side is the wild and remote Kavendel, with nothing but untouched nature. I like this kind of contrast. <laughs> when I started mountaineering, I had a classical approach. Heavy backpack, heavy shoes. I got inspired by the speed style of alpinists like Uli Steck, 
and the more I went into the mountains, the more I realized that I could also go lighter and faster with less equipment and more training. I found the style super enjoyable because I was able to cover a lot of ground in one push. When I scaled my first 4000er in the Alps, the idea of scaling all 82 of them would be a great goal. I'm well on the way, but I'm not in a rush with the remaining ones. I just want to enjoy those to the fullest. This project also allows me to spend time with a lot of amazing people in stunning places all over the Alps. I must admit, I do like to suffer. On longer days like this, I cut the bigger objective into smaller pieces, mountain by mountain, step by step. When it gets exhausting, I feel more as if I'm truly living and suffering somehow turns into satisfaction. On top of that, I also know that the suffering is only short-lived. On days like this, I always realize what privileged life I have. I have the choice to suffer or not if I don't want to. I don't have to worry about a place to sleep or if there will be dinner on the table in the evening. We got so confined in our daily comfy lives that we kind of lost connection with our roots, with nature, where we came from. When I'm out there, I get reminded of how privileged we are and that we shouldn't take that for granted. In the end, it doesn't matter what you do outside. Just have fun and enjoy the beauty of nature. <laughs>